we are fortunate at Alta Sciences, uh, particularly at the Everest site, to have a couple of pathologists with close to 30 years experience for individually. Um, so the ideal for a pathologist is to have um, a, a good broad base of experience with different types of uh, test articles or drug modalities, a good, a good base of different species, you know, rodents uh, and large animals, and then being able to apply that across their studies. So we like to have pathologists that have experience with different study durations because the background findings and studies can, in animal species can change over their lifespan. And we, we obviously do a lot of work with um, non-human primates. And so that's a really important experience subset for an alta path sciences pathologist to have. There's a lot of value to having pathologists who work for Alta Sciences and, and are part of Alta Sciences because they become close members of the team, the study directors and other folks in, in the, that they work with, as well as the clients. We'd like to have a roster of pathologists that we have trained and we all operate on the same principles and follow the same processes and the same timelines. Um, it just makes everything easier. It also brings your historical control data in-house um, and, it, and it just fosters a better collaboration with clients. One is because we don't have 50 pathologists. We have a small roster of pathologists that you're gonna get to know. They're, they're used to working with our study directors at the site they're located or um, that they're attached to if they're a remote pathologist. Um, you're going to have more interaction with them. Um, they're going to be more accessible to you. And they're going to be more attentive to your individual needs as a sponsor um, as we grow this pathology group. We're tailoring it to be um, a, a really solid group that meets your needs and one that you can, you can be in contact with on a regular basis when you're running your studies. There are several specialty areas at Alta Sciences. I think that the non-human primate pathology and toxicologic pathology is a specialty at, in particular, the Everett site. At the Columbia site, you know, we have the opportunity there to work with um, Sinclair miniature swine. So swine pathology is another area of, of growing expertise. I think most pathologists have pretty broad experience with rodents. Um, rats and mice and their evaluation. So beyond the species, you can get into the routes of administration. So, for example, we're in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and they, they do a lot of ocular work. I think one other area where we have a very strong experience set in Everett is with gene therapy. There are a lot of companies using gene therapy products and developing, developing them at the Everett site. Um, so. Yeah, experience in, in different species and experience with different either routes of administration or certain types of drugs, classes of drug, oncology drugs, neuropathology drugs, gene therapy drugs, and then the new modalities, the RNA therapeutics, and there are a lot of different areas there. There are lots of components of a toxicology study that are important, from biomarkers to bioanalytical to DMPK, which is the drug distribution, metabolism, and so forth. But pathology is considered the gold standard of, toxicologic, of toxicology studies. It determines if there are any adverse effects caused by your drug, and it helps you set your safety margins in the clinic. So in just about every regulatory package, whether it's an investigational new drug, uh, or an IND or, or a, um, any other type of uh, clinical trial application, if we're talking Europe or OC OECD, you, you need to provide evidence that your drug is safe for use in humans at these safety margins and at these doses. And the only place you will get that information is if you've run a really comprehensive pathology evaluation in your toxicology studies that are enabling your clinical trials.